Hey you guys, today I'll be doing a video review of my Panda PAN6320W. I had this washer for, well I've been using it for like a week and I just want to do like a quick review in how to use it. And I've seen so many YouTube reviews on this washer and that's what made me want to purchase it. So if you're interested in seeing my initial review, and just my thoughts and opinions and how to hook it up. Keep watching. So, I'm just going to give you... Okay, so now I have the um, washer line hook right here. And what I'm going to do next is... Um, and I got it put right here to my wall. So, okay, let's just go over the settings. Well, I'll go over all this when I actually start it. So, it won't be confusing. So, I already have the um, aerator. I hope I'm saying that right hook to my sink is this part this i took off the part that comes on my sink i just took this off and i just decided to put this one and leave it there so and as you can see it's not up there tight at all i could just twist it and turn it off if i need to so make sure you don't put it too tight so you won't have any problems getting it off so next i will then hook this into this and what you do is push it down push it up and then start twisting it to get it tighter so i'm gonna keep twisting this now be right there so now that I, now that i have it on hook i still have a little water spillage so i just take my handy dandy rag and just kind of put it over so it can like just catch all the loose water that's going to just come out when i turn it on so we're going to just leave that here and let's go over to the settings so today i'll be just washing a couple of um small towels and washcloths so i will um these are the water level settings so you have five four three two one and one is going to be your um smaller loads like a real small load so you don't it doesn't just fill up to you i'll show you and then you have these settings here that's aa soak wash rinse and spin those are the functions and it will show on the screen on um, whatever function is on and this is not hours, this is gonna be the minutes. So, and then we have the normal, standard, quick wash, heavy duty, and soak and wash. And then we also have the wash, wash and rinse, rinse and spin, spin and air dry. So, this is gonna be the power delay, and then it also has a child lock. So, in order to stop it from beeping, once you open it, you will hit this again, but I will show you how to use that. So um, today I'll just be doing it on um, level, let's do a level three. So we're gonna just hit this. So it's gonna be the water level, which I'm gonna have three today. And then we're gonna do a quick wash, which is going to be also three. So water level three, quick wash three. So now I'm going to um, turn my water on so we're just gonna start it. And in order to get it started, you have to already get your water. So let me just show you an example of the child lock. So say if I just open it, that's gonna go off. If I close it, it's gonna go like this. So in this instance, if you just need to like throw something in there real quick, you're gonna hit the pause, right? And your water gonna stop. If you, like me, you want to save your water bill, you're going to turn that water off. So, we're going to just turn it off and we're just going to get my clothes and fill this up. So, I'll be right back once I have this filled. Um, now that I think about it, I think I need to put this water level to like a five. So, let's adjust. Let's do five. <laughs> so, I'm going to take my washing powder and just pour it over. And I will be using just my little arm and hammer in the oxy stain fighter so we're just gonna open this up and pour this inside and yes you can put um the little um beads the little fresheners you can put all that like the pods all that can go in here so i'm just gonna push put that over like that and then we're gonna close our lid and we're going to resume and again to for the water to come out if you see some it, for the water to come out you need to go ahead and turn your water on and you can adjust it to how 
warm or hot or cold you want it to go so and this timer is literally going to count down um the whole wash cycle so it's going to take 23 minutes to wash rinse and spin so as you can see and I'm a visual person, so I don't know about y'all, but I love washing my clothes wash. So I love that you can see exactly what's going on up in here. So that's a plus. So while this is filling up, I'm just gonna just give a quick um, little, my thoughts and opinions on it so far. I love it. It washes my clothes like a full washer would do. And I highly recommend this. And I'm gonna drop the link down to the bottom of where I purchased it. I actually purchased this on walmart.com. So um, it was a good buy and I love it. And I'm, I'm actually gonna do a little mini video of my old portable washer um, that I have because I do stay in an apartment. So um, and this apartment did not come with washers and dryers, but it came up with the hookup. And I don't have the hookup right now to be getting a full size, full size washer and dryer. So, and I'm also doing a review of my Panda dryer I have as well. So, but I love this. This is one of my favorite purchases of this year so far. And it's so easy. And another thing I forgot to mention as well. I put my little rinse thingy here um, in the tub. So when it's on the rinse and drop, say rinse cycle, that's going to come out there. So, so we'll be back once this baby starts washing. Okay, you all, we up to something. So as you can see, it's now washing and it's on 21 minutes left. So it's currently washing. And let me stop it real quick. I just want to show you the water level at, um, I think I did, guys, let me pause it. So if you do not want to hear that, duh, 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 the child alarm lock sound, or whatever, hit pause, please. And that's gonna stop it, right? So you're able to open it without that noise. So as you can see, it suds up a lot and look at all my towels and rags are all soaked So Yes, it does fill up and it's filled up to right there. So we're gonna resume with washing. We're just gonna close it and just hit that play button again. So again, I love this, it's so convenient. Let me give you a quick demonstration on the size of it. So this is how big it is. And I do plan to get a dolly for it. I just haven't because I actually just put it right there in my closet right there. So as you can see, it stopped, right? That's a good example. So when it do stop, you just turn the water back on for just a little bit and it'll start back going. So when it starts washing, you have to get that water level like good. So you can just turn it right back off and yeah. So I will be back once it's on the rinse cycle to show you how that works okay guys it's currently on the um rinse cycle and if you see this color this is coming from those towels that i purchased from walmart and the dye is coming off so it's very important to wash new towels and rags when you purchase them because look at all that dye coming off of here. so as you can see we're down to 13 minutes so it took what maybe roughly 10 minutes for that wash. So um, it's rinsing now. As you can see. Okay. And I believe when it gets to like the nine minute, I'm a, I'm going to have to hit turn my water back on. Because right now it's just rinsing. So I've gotten familiar with um the times now. So I think I just have to put the water on just two times for the spin cycle and we say the rinse cycle again and then the spin so yes that's what we're working with now all that's coming out and again like i said that's all the dye from that brown the brown toes and rags that you're seeing in there those were new and i have yet to use them so i always wash my towels and rags before i use them because of this so now we are on the spin cycle. So it's just spinning this little life away. And as you can see, it's not shaking or doing too much like this. So this is when, I'm gonna say, I think when I, since I got a bigger load, this is when I will um add my water to it watch this once I add the water to it that timer is going to start going down so when I 
I tell y'all I love this? I love this. Like, so as you can see, the time is starting to go down now. We're on 12 minutes left. And it's still spinning. Oh, I'm sorry, it's still on the rinse cycle. Spin is when it's going to say to be so. Um, still on the rinse cycle currently. And it's still... I think I put too much washing powder. What y'all think? <laughs> I think I did, but um... Yeah, all that's still coming out. So I'll be back once we get on this rinse cycle. Okay, you guys. As you can see, it's stopped. And it's on... 11 minutes so this is when i turn the water back on okay i believe but i'm gonna say nine minutes okay stop okay there we go so as you can see i turned the water back on in 11 minutes and it is now currently going on the it's about to start the spin cycle because You'll know when it's time to add more water in there if the minutes stall around, like it's waiting for you to add that water. And like I said again, I don't know who leave their water running the whole time, but not me. I don't want to have water people. So I manually turn the water back on once it's time to um put it on the rinse, say the rinse spin cycle. But like I said, I kind of know when to. So you have to put yourself on a timer. Like... To keep up with when you need to but you will only do this twice like we first wash and then when you have to put it on this last cycle the spin cycle so just keep that in mind if you don't want your water to cook consistently so i just turn it back on as you can see water start getting everywhere this handy dandy thing just gets soaks up but it works so do what works for you <laughs> so now as you can see we're down to 10 minutes and our um and it's filling up with water so it can go on the skin the um spin cycle and as you can see my tub the water all has drained out and went out and that's why i just keep this here just so you know that's more convenient so so i'll be back once it's on the last cycle okay we're back and we're down to nine minutes so let me turn this off since we're done with this and it is on the spin cycle so we're at nine minutes so i'm just going to let this go and then i'll just show you the end results when this is all done okay guys as you can see we're down to four minutes and we are definitely on the spin cycle and as you can see it took a lot more of that dye out so it's not as you know it cleaned it real good to say the least so this baby is just spinning away and we're almost done with this cycle and after this i will be um starting a new video of the the um panda dryer so i will be linking that in the video as well so um if you're interested in seeing how this whole process of the dryer go with these same towels and rags make sure you go check that video out but again um very this is a um very convenient dry say washer it washes and rinse and I'm doing a separate video on my old portable washing and dryer. And just to talk about the pros and cons of each of them. But um, to be honest, this one really don't have cons at all. It's just that I would say to get a dolly with it. Because it could be on the heavier side. And the little wheels on the back, uh, they really don't do too much, to be honest. So I would highly recommend the dolly um, with, if you're going to purchase one of these. So... Um, we're down to three minutes and I will be back once this is completely done. Okay, you guys, um, as you can see, the clothes are done. It makes a beeping sound when it's done and it just automatically shuts down. So what I will do next is look at how clean these look. Like, oh, these all look so clean. Oh my gosh, it's nothing like fresh smelling um, laundry. So what I'm gonna do next is put these in the basket and then I will proceed with the next video so so you guys i just want to give you a quick estimate of how much the dryer say the washer held it held this amount of clothes so that's a quite a bit and it wasn't all the way filled up so that's a lot so 
again you guys this was the review of the panda and i will be dropping that link down below so if you want to purchase it i will have that link available to you and i give it a 10 out of 10 i love it it's a great great mix i turn it into a full-size compact washer and i like that you it's less that you have to do with it it does all the work for you and the next video if you want to um watch i will be linking it in within this video or down in the description of the dryer so i'm about to get these and start the next video on the dryer so if you want to hop to the next video